guys, sorry I'm recording in my bathroom. This is a place where I can prop you up and I can just focus on talking. Um, um, this is mainly an August vlog, but it's starting in July. Ignore if you can hear like any rumbling in the background. Someone's driving around on a motorized bike and it's, it's driving me batty, but I can't control them. So, um. Today, I'm getting to do my first, like, learning to drive behind the wheel test. Um, I decided to do a driving class during the summer to try to help me build my confidence for driving because, um, my grandparents tried to teach me when I was still in Colorado to drive a car on back roads but um, I wasn't ready for one and two it kind of scared me and I wasn't ready until this year to even think about it so I decided since Maine has those driving courses sign them up for that because they know what they're doing and they can handle someone who's probably anxious to do it so I'm excited about that even though I probably don't sound or look too excited because I haven't been feeling well um, I haven't had a lot a lot of sleep like I'm not tired but you know I've been having a hard time sleeping and I've been kind of sick so yeah that kind of sucks but you know can't really help it um, other than the work is almost done, so I'm hoping I can get enough energy to film this stuff again. Besides just vlogs, because even though I like vlogs, um, I don't think very many people will watch just me talking to a camera. No offense me, but um, you don't do that much. So, um... That's the start of this vlog. Hopefully there's like cute cat and stuff and there's that guy on the motorcycle or motorized bike. <laughs> so yeah. Oh. Here's all into other vloggy stuff. Is there a baby? Is there a baby? Hi! Yes! You cute! Are you cute? Yes! You adorable! You're not showing anyone your face! Why? It's an adorable face! Yes! 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 A baby. There was a baby. You do a baby. Yeah. Where are you going? Are you showing the camera your butt? Where are you going? Party. Oh, there's two babies. Now there's none. Yeah, you're a good baby. Who is a rambunny baby? No, he's a rambunny baby. 
Gasp. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Where's a good baby? Are you a good baby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. other day I had someone ask me why are you dressed so nice because I was wearing like a skirt and walking home from work and it's like um, I'm not really dressed <laughs> that nice it's just I wore the skirt because I don't want to have to wear pants <laughs> but I just said thank you for like the compliment but, like I'm not really dressed fancy for any reason I just like pretty skirts and I don't like pants. <laughs> it's always funny how people kind of assume like you're dressed up for something fancy. And like, no, just don't want more pants. Pants are the bane of my existence. I only wore them because I was cleaning buses and can't wear skirts that are going to get all nasty cleaning buses. <laughs> it's funny. At least to me. Mm. Yeah. Currently, I'm going through like some of my books, and this is the shelf I've already gone through. Um, this is the one of stuff I'm gonna keep for now. Over there is like some children's books, some from when I was little, some I just really liked and want to keep. Um, these are my collection of Warrior Cats books. I was and still am to an extent a Warrior Cats nerd. Um, there's also another little kid's book that I liked. Um, my Gravity Falls Journal 3. Maps from our move up here. Um, cat books. Right here's writing books. Whoops. There's my little Mabel. I still have to put my stuff up here. Um, and some textbooks along with an art cat book that was too tall to look like it fit over there. And more. Um, Class books from when I was going to the community college. Back here's my art history one. But I need to get my dolls set back over there. Are you not gonna focus? Woohoo, woohoo. Nope, okay. And here they are. This one's my oldest one. I got her with my first paycheck when I was 15 or 16. I can't remember which. I think it has to be 16. Is when I was working at a store in Colorado. But yeah. We got some babies in the living room. Got some babies in the living room. Hi, Cory. Hi, Mushy. What? 
I'm going to try to pet her. Watch him. Joe's bones. Here, the ever-loving bejeebus out of these two. They jumped. And, um, that one over there was giving me a glare for a while. <laughs> Sorry, babies. I personally love when I have the house to myself because I can be in the kitchen and do whatever I want without people asking me, why are you cooking? Or judging me for humming or singing horribly off key. Well, I don't think my grandparents judge me, but when they comment or point it out, even if it's like them just kind of laughing a little bit, it's kind of like, never mind, I'm going to do something else. Because I have a tendency to like, when I'm baking, have my music going and start singing along, dancing or humming. Um, not very well with the singing or dancing, but you know, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's nice having the house where you can just do what you want to and not have to worry about anyone else's opinion. Right now I'm cooking up some lentils I intended to cook up a few days ago but then got caught up with work and driving class. But um, today is the last day of work until like, well officially September, but I have two days of work next month. But I finally get to have summer. Woo. Oh, judging by the apron, I didn't end up. Was with those two words today. Oh my god. Did end up making cookies. Um, oh, there's one in the oven. There's one waiting to be put in the oven. I typically bake if I'm in a really good mood, like today and have the time. Or, try to eat my own hair cheese. Or if I'm like really stressed and anxious in the whisking and the measuring and everything tends to calm me down. So um, today, like I just said, was a good baking day. I made some chocolate chip cookies and I can't wait to have some. Ooh.
been mainly cleaning day so I can sort through stuff for the yard sale but I've also been doing some small things like getting ready for the school year um the other day I picked up some of the fancy band-aids as my little kids liked to call them and um they're latex free so people who have a latex allergy doesn't have to worry but I got them in my little pouch all nice and ready for the next group of kids and um we also got to plan to go to Eastport on Friday which is gonna be nice because we haven't been out of town for a while now and now I have a little bit of time to do it and we're actually staying the night God forbid, we, we, we're finally getting out of Bangor overnight. It, oh my god. It's been since we moved up here, since we've done an overnight trip, because we have to take the dog with us on trips. Because <laughs> he's very finicky with people, and he won't let someone else come in our house to take care of him, and I don't know if I'd trust him going somewhere else with other dogs for an extended period of time because he doesn't like other dogs. He likes my cats. He, he gets along well enough with the cats, but he hates other dogs who weren't bear. So, yeah. Thankfully, we found a place that will accept him and we can go actually be out of town for overnight and explore Eastport. So yeah, that will come in the vlog probably right after this actually, thankfully. Hey guys, if you're seeing this clip, um, the Eastport stuff is going to be its own vlog and it'll be linked right up here and down below. Um, I will put some of the clips up there and probably back, but who knows? And if you're not seeing this, well then, it's in the vlog, obviously. So, yeah, on to more stuff. Meow! What? What? Where are you going? There you go! What? Are we going somewhere? Are we gonna be going somewhere? How dare? How dare? Yeah? How dare? Hardy? Hardy? What are you doing? He's just gonna lay down now. He said his piece. Oi! Goodbye. Oi! Meow! What? The cat. In March of 
update. I did not include any of the East Port vlog stuff here because it all fit all nicely in that one and I thought I just didn't want to repeat video. Um, also, um, updates on my driving. I've done three hours of driving. The first one was kind of shaky and the second one was okay. The third one was kind of shaky because, like, I had to try to go, like, 45 miles per hour. And the road I was taking on was not good enough to go 45 miles per hour on. <laughs> no! And, um, today's gonna be the last day of the class, driving class. And I'm um, nervous to take the test. I don't know if it's like you circle the answers or you have to write. I've been trying to study most of today. Um, for the first like half of the day I couldn't couldn't read that book for nothing. I was able to finally but um I'm still nervous. Like I don't know how much has sunk in here and it makes me go like, oh my goodness, I used to be able to do this. What's going on? So yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. It didn't help that I had like a nightmare last night where I was driving a car and um, for some reason I had these like paper thin flip flops. I gave actually paper flip flops trying to drive the car and I was having issues like with the speed and the car acting up and I was like why are you so mean to me, brain? Just, no, don't do this to me. I think I, I'll do fine. But it's just like waking up with that. It's like, brain, why? Why you gotta do this to me? I don't know. But yeah. Um, that's all I have for this little clip. I'll see you in the next one. I'm here in my Batman pajamas waiting for the appointment to have my fifth hour of driving and um, it's raining. I'm gonna have to learn to drive and potentially parallel park in the rain if it doesn't quit in a few hours been doing it all day and it's like wow I'm just not having very much of a luck am I? You know. Um besides that while I've been waiting, um I looked up my oldest YouTube, which I am not mentioning the name here, but um it's apparently eleven years old today. Well not today, but it turned eleven earlier this year. And it's like oh Oh, I've been on YouTube forever. God. That was since I was like 12? Maybe 13 at oldest? Like, obviously, probably way too young for YouTube, but I mainly stuck to like making fan characters and stuff like that. Um, back then, it was the Powerpuff Girls. And Alvin and Chipmunks. <laughs> and that's actually how I met my oldest friend. So yeah. I think I think the rain's gotten a bit heavier for a while. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that makes me feel old or just like connected like oh god I've been on YouTube for a long time. I like, think I probably better with the videos but I you know the type of videos I was doing back then is different and um, I for a while there I wasn't even making any kind of videos. So yeah it's a new learning curve again. <laughs> so yeah. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. <laughs> Test.
Hi, this is baby. He's like, how dare you? How dare you? Mm -hmm. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, you, what are you doing? <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. He goodbye. And there's a dragon tail, I'm sorry. I was sitting here scrolling through Tumblr when um one of the game theory videos popped up. And I was like, oh cool. I'll watch it because it's Five Nights Freddy's themed and um I like Five Nights at Freddy's. Um so I found out there's two brand new books or at least maybe they're coming out i haven't looked that far into it yet and the freaking five nights at freddy's the freddy files has an updated edition and it's like really gosh darn it so um i guess i'll add that to my list of ones i want to get eventually because i have the other one and i want to see the new content Gosh darn this game theorist. <laughs> Cause um it was also a video like this that made me um actually get to reading the book because <laughs> he acts he was, he was talking about the twist from the books and I didn't know it yet. I was like, no, 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 don't say it yet. And I had to pause the video and read the books <laughs> because I got spoiled. Like, it was kind of, it was kind of obvious in the way, but it's also like, that's when you want to read yourself and not have dull teaching. Oh, goodness. Now I gotta look at the books. <laughs> okay, two of those books are on pre-order, so I don't have to worry about them for a while. One is actually coming out in December, so that's kind of cool. The other one won't be out until 2020. So I can see if I like the first book later on in the year, and... Um, yeah. Still caught me off guard. Wow. Um, this video has gotten stupidly long, so, um, I'm ending it here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!